and welcome back to Easy Nails. Today I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful sculpted purple sparkle acrylic nail set. Here I'm prepping my nails. I'm going in with my e-file and my 180 sanding band and you can also use a hand file in this step. And I'm going over the nails with the e-file on a really low speed from one side to the other, nice fluid like motions. And the goal here is just to get the natural shine off of the nail. If you don't do this, your acrylic nails will lift within a few days. So it's super important that you go in either with an e-file or a hand file and just remove the natural shine from your nails. And I'm also using this drill bit here to push back my cuticles. Just going here, you can see around the cuticle, tucking in that drill bit pretty close and it does a really good job of pushing back those cuticles and prepping our nails for application. At this point, you would want to clean your nails really well with rubbing alcohol and apply your prep and primer. Okay, here I'm taking my nail form, getting that on the first nail. And if you want to learn more about nail form application and all the tips and tricks with that, you can look at my other videos, Acrylic Sculpted Nails, and that is a really helpful one on nail form placement. Okay, so I am putting on those nail forms on all the nails here. These nail forms are from Enail Couture. And you can either put on one nail form, start sculpting and put on the other, or put them all on at the same time. I find it easier if they're all on at the same time. And I'm going to be using Glitter Balls by Annabelle Hema Free Monomer. And Glitter Balls by Annabelle Color Purple Satin. This is a dark purple color. And I, what I already have on my middle finger there is a custom acrylic mix that I created myself. It's pink with some gold in there and holographic hexagon pieces. And I am applying this on the nail. And on that first finger there, I have my custom acrylic glitter mix. And then I have Glitter Balls by Annabelle Purple Satin on the tip. And here I'm applying that purple satin color on my ring finger. And on the tip of that, I applied some of my Mia Secret Diamond Powder. And this came in the collection of the Galaxy Nail Powders by Mia Secret. All right, I'm grabbing this beautiful holographic purple glitter. I got this one from Michaels, and I'm applying it over that wet bead of Glitter Bells by Annabelle Purple Satin. I am just applying that glitter right on top, and this is a really easy way to glit glitter on your nails if you apply it over a wet bead of acrylic, and if your acrylic already dried, you can always take some clear acrylic, put it on your nail, and then apply the glitter right over that, and it'll stick right to it. Okay, here I'm building up the free edge with my Glitter Bells by Annabelle Purple Satin color, this deep purple color, and it has almost like a pinkish hue to it in person. You can't see it that well on camera, but in person it has like this pinkish hue. It's a really beautiful color. I'm just applying it onto the free edge, deciding what length I want here. And when using nail forms, I find it's easier to Hold your brush on the side for a second until that acrylic sets in place and then drag it in an upwards motion to help you form that free edge and not have the glitter flow everywhere. You can see here I'm just holding it on the side of the nail form until the acrylic sets and then you can mold your acrylic and push it into place how you would like. And you always want to make sure that you're trying to get the side walls as crisp as you can so you can always take your brush and kind of push and lift. You see that motion I just did there 
So push and lift that acrylic toward the center to get those lines really crisp. Here I'm going in with that Mia Secret Diamond acrylic color and I'm putting it all over that nail. This is a really pretty, it's like a silver holographic tinsel. And then I'm adding some of that purple holographic fine loose powder that I got from Michaels, applying it over that. And you always want to make sure that you're working with the clean paper towel. You can see I flipped over my paper towel there. It really, really helps in the acrylic application when your paper towel is nice and clean. Here I'm going in and encapsulating. Again, you always want to make sure you encapsulate. Otherwise, you will file away your design when you are filing. Here I am adding a bead of acrylic right in the middle of the nail and working it towards the tip. I am going to do this on all of the nails. Again, a bead a little bit above the middle part of the nail there and working it up towards the tip. Really light motions. You don't want to pull your brush. You want to pat it or stroke it in feather-like motions. And again, I'm using Mia Secrets Clear Acrylic here to encapsulate the nails. I'm going to take another bead of acrylic here and I'm going to place it right underneath that bead in the middle area. And then I'm lightly feathering that acrylic towards the tip area. Again, do not press. You want to have a really light hand and just feather that acrylic towards the tip. And this is also going to build up our structure of the nail and give us that apex that is going to give us strength to the nail so that they won't break. And here I'm going to go in with my cuticle bead. You want to place a small bead near the cuticle area. Again, do not touch the cuticle area, just near it, tuck it in there and slightly feather that bead back towards the tip in really light motions. You never want to press hard on your acrylic bead. Just really soft feather-like motions, fading it upwards. Again, a bead right near that cuticle area and feathering it upwards. Again, if you do not do this step, I cannot emphasize how important it is to encapsulate your nails. If you do not encapsulate with clear acrylic, when you come to file your nails, you will file off all the beautiful design you created. And it's always better to apply more rather than less acrylic here, just to make sure you are protecting that beautiful design you put on your nails. And at this point, I am pinching the nails. You just want to put light to medium pressure from the middle of the nail to the nail tip. This will give you that C curve and this helps with strength and structure of the nail. Here I'm pinching the back of the nail tips. You can see here, and really gently pulling nail tips, nail forms, and pulling them off of the nails. All right, here we are in our filing. First of all, as always, I file my side walls. I find that this is easiest method to do. So you wanna tilt your nail file at a 45 degree angle, slanted and file up and down motions to get that coffin shape, which is what I'm going for here. You can see 45 degree angle, slanting, slanting that nail file. This is a 180 grit nail file around both sides of the nail, the side walls. Make sure you do both sides of the nail, slanting that nail form. Nail form, nail file, I'm so sorry, I keep on saying nail form, but nail file. And here I'm doing the tips. I'm taking that nail file, going back and forth, holding my nail file at a 90 degree angle and going back and forth to get that squared tip. Here I am using my e-file. I'm working at a medium to fast speed here. And this is a 180 sanding band. And I'm going up and down the nails here to give it its shape and to take away any excess bulk. I'm doing this step to all the nails and I'm just working up and down here 
and you never want to hold your e-file in one place for too long. This will cause your client's nails to burn and this you never want this to happen obviously so make sure you constantly keep that e-file moving. Here I am sealing in the cuticle. I am working right above the cuticle area going back and forth and I'm probably at a medium to low speed here and I'm sealing in the cuticle. This is a super important step. It prevents lifting and keep, keeps your nails lasting for a long time. Again, right near the cuticle, working from one side to the other, nice swift motions. And you want that area there to have your natural nail and then the acrylic. So you want to be able to see that ever so slightly, almost like a hair size space between your natural nail and the acrylic. This is going to prevent lifting. Okay, here I'm going up and down the nail with my 180 sanding band again. Here we are just perfecting the shape. And here I'm going in. You can also use this method to get your side walls nice and crisp. I am just going up and down with my e-file along the side walls of the nail. You do not want to hold the e-file in one spot here for too long or for any time period because it's going to cause a dent in the side wall of your nail. So when you're doing this, just work up and down, constantly removing that e-file. Do not keep it in one place. And this is really going to crisp up our coffin nail shape. Okay, here I'm going back in again with my 180 grit hand file, slanting it at a 45 degree angle for coffin nails. And I'm just going up and down along the side walls of the nails, both sides. And this is going to give us that really, really crisp coffin nail shape. And I kept this clip in normal speed, you guys, as well as sealing in the cuticle. That was all in normal speed, just so you guys could get an idea of how long I spent on this process. This is all in normal speed, this clip here. Here I am holding the nail file at a 90 degree angle, moving it back and forth. Really swift motions here. And that's going to give the square shape to the tip of the coffin nails. Okay, and you can see how beautiful our nails are coming out. Here I'm going in with a buffer. This is my CND buffer. And it's super important to buff out your nails because the files tend to leave little micro scratches in the nails. And you'll be able to see those when you put on your top gel at the end. So it's always super important to buff out the nails. We want a smooth surface. I also like to buff out the bottom of my nails, side walls, and tips. If you don't do this, the nails will be really sharp to the touch. A lot of people don't do this. I like to add in a step. It makes the nails soft and it won't poke you with your nails. Okay, so here again, I'm really buffing those nails. This clip right here is a normal speed. You can see just how much time I take buffing them to make sure that they are smooth. Okay, so here you can either ask your client to wash their hands or use a manicure brush with rubbing alcohol. You wanna make sure you remove all that dust as top gel will lift if you put it on top of dusty nails. Here I am using my Nuevo Nails Super Sealer UV LED Top Gel. I highly suggest this Top Gel Nuevo Nails Super Sealer. It gives a beautiful shine. You can see that holographic glitter, purple glitter is just beautiful. And then that Mia Secret Diamond Tinsel Acrylic. It just goes beautifully over the glitter bells by Annabelle Purple Satin Acrylic Color. Just complements it so gorgeously. And in the middle there and on the first finger, that is my custom acrylic mix. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. I love this set here. Next, we're going to move on to our bling application. The stones I'm going to be using here. Are from Amazon I'm gonna link them down below for you guys and the actually this stone right here so some are from Amazon and some are Swarovski stones that I got from Michaels they always have really good deals on Swarovski stones either Michaels or Hobby Lobby they usually have like $6.99 for an assorted pack and then you can buy one get one half off they're usually about 50 crystals in each pack so I think it's a pretty good deal 
Okay, so here I'm just using my bling tool. This is my rhinestone picker upper. Absolutely love it. Mentioned it in all my videos. I got this one from Amazon. It's a beautiful tool. It has a wax picker upper on one side and a dotting tool on the other so you can easily move around your stones. It picks up all my stones, big and small. It's a super great investment to make. Okay, and I'm just continuing here with my bling application on my first finger. And these stones are a golden champagne color. They're really beautiful. And you can see here why I like, again, I did not mention before, but I put that layer of top gel on the nail and I did not cure it. You do not want to cure this layer of gel as it's going to work as an adhesive to keep your stones in place. If you have trouble with keeping your crystals in place, I highly suggest to use a hard gel or any kind of builder in a bottle gel. Do a really thin coat of that, and then you can add your top gel right on top without caring. And this is a super secure way to keep your crystals in place. I even have a hard time removing the crystals when I use this method. So if you have trouble getting your crystals to stay on your nail, I highly suggest this method. Here I'm just finishing off my bling application here. And again, you can see you have the ability here to move around your crystal arrangement because the gel is not cured yet. So you have all the time in the world to move around your crystals as you would like to get that perfect, gorgeous look. All right, you guys, and I hope you enjoy this beautiful purple holographic acrylic nail set. Please let me know if you have any questions and please comment, like, and subscribe to Easy Nails for more Easy Nails for everyone. See you guys in the next one. Bye!